Hey guys, so we're about to walk through uh, a construction build of our floor plan. Now this is not our actual house, but it's the floor plan that we're building. We had to come to Houston, which is a three and a half hour drive um, to come and actually walk through the floor plan because we bought it off the internet. So what you see is the floor plan of our house, but not with our fixtures, but we wanted, I'm recording it for my own purposes. So since y'all are going along on this journey with us, I thought it would be good to record it. So let's check it out. All right, so this is the outside and this elevation is a little bit different than ours. This particular floor plan, we have an extra car garage over here. Um, but it's similar, it's just not the same. But when we walk up, ooh, I'm so excited. And I'm sorry, this is shaky. I don't have my, um, oh, I do have my jiggy. It's all good though. So there'll be double doors here. And these are just the temporary doors, of course. And then this floor plan, and you'll get to see it again as we start to build ours, is the layout is the entry. So when you come in, um, there's this grand entry, right? And then immediately to the left, there's a guest bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, closet. And I'm walking through this quickly. Y'all will get details when I start to build. And then over to the left, this particular floor plan has a butler's pantry and a dining room, but we turned this into Timothy's office. So believe it or not, Timothy is going to have an office larger than mine. And I believe, but I think this is gonna turn into a closet. Pretty sure. I think they turned that closet into a butler's pantry. Um, coming in from the garage, you've got the mud room that goes into the laundry room. And then this staircase goes up to the second floor of the house, which we'll go up to in a minute. But as we continue to walk, we actually got this exact plan for the kitchen, except the uppers. Over there, we didn't add uppers, but this is our floor plan for our kitchen. We didn't do their lighting. We just got pendant holes or drops for lighting. But this is what the kitchen's gonna look like. It's a beautiful hutch over there. We actually didn't do glass. Uh, we kept that closed, but we did some wine racks at the bottom. Um, but this is it. We did do the drop-in sink similar to this one. So you'll have a gourmet stove. What's that, microwave? oven refrigerator over there all that good stuff and it comes into the living room oh my gosh i'm so excited and over here is an entertainment area we actually wired this to be like a media room but we're gonna go back and kind of change the layout because the flooring the space is a little shorter than what we thought it was um this is the dining room we're sitting in that's the living room, the fireplace. We didn't do sliding doors. Um, here's the office, my office, which is towards the back of the house, which I love because our house sits up on a hill. So as I'm looking out the window, it's gonna be very pretty. I'll be able to look down into the yard. We didn't do sliding doors, so those would just be windows. And you got a little corner over here, which this is really cool because it leads out to outside, which they didn't extend their patio, we did ours, that then goes into the bedroom. And I like that because the bedroom is away from the rest of the house. So this is the exact floor plan for the bedroom. Uh, we have a single door, not a double door. Thank God, I hate those doors. <laughs> um, they didn't extend their bedroom and we were kind of nervous because we didn't extend ours, but there's plenty of space in here. Um, everywhere that you see fixtures, ours will be black. This bathroom is gonna be heaven. Oh my God, I cannot wait 
to get in it uh, as you walk in. Of course, there's hers and his. Beautiful window, uh, vanity and storage for me to set up makeup, plants, all that good stuff. Uh, we didn't do a drop-in tub, so there's a tub here that'll be connected to the wall. Looks like they did a drop-in, which is gonna be beautiful. And you've got your shower here, which is also pretty. The actual tile that's on the floor is actually the tile that we used for the walls. So I actually like that hexagon tile though, but this is a custom build and we didn't do custom. This is just the same floor plan. And that's the bathroom, the toilet room. Our floor is actually black. Um, our fixtures in here are not gold. They are, this is a completely different brand and they are satin nickel. But this is the layout that then goes into the closet that walks back out to the actual laundry room. That's the first floor. Um, you see this walk? I gotta go through all of this just to get to the rest of the house. That makes me happy. Happy, happy, happy. Alrighty, so really quickly, I am going to get to the stairs. So we're gonna do a walkthrough of the second floor. And we're gonna get out of these people's house. How about that? Alright, going up to the second floor. Uh, this is actually a different layout than ours as well. So immediately to the right, there's an additional bed and bathroom. So this will be my son's room. This is the same setup. Voila. And you've got the game room, which is a lovely size. I love it. Um, all of this though, we decided to go with the half wall because it's loud. It's extremely loud having that opening. So we wanted to barrier off the sound. This side is different. Um, the girls' rooms are on this side, but this is different because we have an extra room over here. But such cute stuff at the design center, super cute. Anyways, um, there's an extra room over here that is specifically for the kids because they have their own little game room area too. So we get to get our adult game room back. Look at the size of that fixture. Oh, I can't wait. But this is the layout that we chose for our home. This is not our house, um, but most of what's in here is an accurate depiction of what's gonna be in our baby. They just haven't started building it yet, but we wanted to see it live in person so we could see how stuff works and see if we needed to make any changes before we got to construction. So that's it guys. I'm about to hop back in our car and head back home. Bye for now.